Uh, thanks for everyone's questions about the CTEC vehicle to load device. I know I've gotten a lot of inquiries of, can you connect it to your home? And the answer is absolutely not. <laughs> Do not connect this to your home. Uh, but I have installed a transfer switch here that um, in this case, this manual transfer switch can disconnect from the home. So this uh, is a, shuts everything off from the grid and then has a critical load panel here that's been wired to some critical loads in the house, like the fridge, et cetera. This can um, go up to 30 amps. So it's pretty small, but it can get a decent amount of loads on the house. And then this, connector here can connect to any sort of generator plug. So gasoline generator, any kind of portable generator. In this case, I, I have had it designed to connect to the CTEC device. So you can connect it to the CTEC device, uh, connect this to the vehicle. The vehicle would then take DC energy, convert it to AC and send it to a critical load panel where if you're in a blackout situation, you could power your home. I think one of the limitations I found is that the CTEC unit is only single phase. So in this case, it's designed for single phase 120 volts. So it can power uh, critical loads, critical appliances that run on 120 volt. There is a 220 volt version, but then again, it's single phase. So you can only run uh, 220 volt appliances. In North America, everyone's really looking for split phase where you could run either 120 or 240. And this, that's not an option here, unfortunately. Um, so I found that this is really just best used for simple, you know, loads. I think just using a, an extension cord to get critical loads um, powered on this is, is probably a better solution. I have met some people, you know, who've talked about putting in um, some transformers that could take this and, and turn that into split phase. So uh, I'm sure there's probably some solutions out there. Um, I'm hesitating on that because I think that because this is a, a floating ground design that uh, I'm not really as confident in the grounding configuration here. But I think it is um, great to see that there are some options that are starting to come to market for a vehicle to home. I think that, you know, this is really fairly simple. This is just, this is not a bi-directional inverter. This is just a unidirectional inverter that's discharging uh, DC to AC. So I think it's a fairly simple and fairly, fairly clever way to be able to export some power from electric vehicles. And uh, thanks for everyone's uh, comments and, and questions. And great to see some of the community that's starting to build here around vehicle to home and vehicle to load.